Tommy. I cannot explain the personal hell I am currently experiencing. I know, I'm literally scooping my shit into- I just spent the last two hours with the people next to me who is two young girls about my age and one of their 65 year old boyfriends because the upper like canopy tent broke and so we've been trying to figure it out for the past two hours and it's torrential downpouring and I'm I want to just drink in my car I'm so annoyed well I'm glad you're having a bad day too it's a perfect day nothing standing in my way do know how to put together. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Boy Scouts. I'm gonna read the directions. Kelsey, just spin them no, up. No, no, I'm gonna read the directions. What, so what's your problem? How the heck is someone supposed to do this? Just just connect it on the ends. Don't worry about the middle. I'm just, trying! Just connect it on the ends. I'm gonna look like such an idiot tomorrow. I literally only need this to stay alive for like one night while it's raining. When in doubt, I fucking sleep in my car, it's fine. But I appreciate it. Is your tent dry? Oh, it's, it's all wet in there. Yeah. inside out and now I have to redo it but I can't because it's fucking raining <laughs> if I take it off then the actual tent will get wet because it's just like mesh unless you have this top part on now we wait again mother I've decided I'm gonna clean myself up, pull myself together, and go into the concert and like just walk around in the rain, I guess, and listen to music because what else is there to do right now? <laughs> Let's do it. peanut butter and jelly in probably like three years, which is weird because I used to eat them every single day, usually twice a day, from the time that I was born until the age of 21. And I don't know why I stopped eating them because they are just fantastic. I also ate cosmic brownies every day when I was a kid. And if you know what those are and ate them too, then you already have plenty of chemicals in your body to fight COVID. Now. The key to a perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich is not half jelly and half peanut butter. It's like two thirds jelly, one third peanut butter, um, because the jelly then gives it that softness that you're really looking for. Also, you always do the jelly first because it's easier to clean the knife on the other slice of bread than it is to clean the peanut butter off. And then you don't get like peanut butter in your jelly. This is the kind of content that you all are gonna get today because this is really all I'm working with now. It kind of looks like the sun came out, but don't let it fool you, it's still lightning and thunder out.
Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, day two of Firefly, and you're probably wondering, Kelsey, why are you wearing your sunglasses inside your car? No, I did not just become wildly famous. I woke up with an extremely swollen face that kind of looks like I had an allergic reaction, which is funny because I'm not allergic to anything that I know of. Um, <clears throat> I will be wearing these sunglasses until further notice. I bought a Benadryl at the little general store, so I took that. Things are going well. Well, as you can see, um, I will check back in with you guys after my drug nap. Right now. Give me some. Seahorses. Seahorses, mushrooms, seahorses, and what? Dragons. And dragons. Oh, crap. I took a bunch of mushrooms, so said. seahorses, that dragon came on, so co horse. I don't know where I've been, them mushrooms be spitting, I'm feeling fine today. Tripping on anything, I seen a dragon fly away, yeah. We a firefly, enjoy the show. Yeah, who do I listen to? I like alternative, alternative rock. I mean, I am a sucker for like top 100 pop hits. I like a lot of rap too. I don't know, kind of a little bit of everything. I would say the Killers are like one of my favorites though. Mushrooms are too much right now. These mushrooms. Uh, too much right now. <laughs> we're breaking up from the frame now. You think it's lame? We got the dragons flying. What's that? It's a seahorse. It's a seahorse. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. fully going into that bazaar with the intention of not buying a single thing and I think I'm like at least $200 deep in the hole at this point. <laughs> Good morning, Tommy. This is the camping supplies review channel. Okay, so we're gonna review today the North Face Winter Burrito. <laughs> I have to give it a four out of 10 rating because it didn't really keep me warm and it's very constricted. If you look here at the end, you have maybe 14 inches of foot space. Nobody wants to feel constricted when they're sleeping. As you come up with the zipper, it just gets very, very tight at the top as well. So as you toss and turn all night, as I do myself, you get wrangled and wrangled and wrangled until you're all fucking twisted up and then you can't fucking move. So actually, no, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. Don't buy those sleeping bags. <laughs> you're gonna get wrangled and wrangled. <laughs> it's the North Face first edition straight jacket. <laughs> 
a severe allergic reaction to literally the, too much fresh air that's out here. Bitches from New York City. <laughs> <laughs> so much fresh air, not enough smog. We need more smog, please. <laughs> we need more smog. <laughs> we can't sleep in this fresh air environment. Air quality's too good. It's too good. <laughs> I need more of like a moderate air quality. <laughs> when you read down the joke, it's still funny. Okay, I'm gonna review my camping setup right now. We've got a couple things going on here. First, we've got the orange sleeping bag, which is used to actually sleep in. Um, as you can see, the zipper does zip all the way to the top so you are nestled and it also is waterproof on the outside because when your tent just starts raining and dripping on you in the middle of the night only your face is gonna get wet which is really which is really a plus that's why I bought it we've then got another sleeping bag a little lower quality the zipper is broken um, but it's really just being used as a membrane to separate myself and the puddle of water I'm laying on top of <laughs> we've then got this pad that is a sad excuse for a mattress. You can see it, it bounces back pretty well. And um, two real pillows. Two real pillows. Two real with, pillows. With real stains. <laughs> what I was actually thinking, time goes so fast. And I'm like, wow, I'm already 26, like I'm almost 30. But at the same time, I was like, it feels like it hasn't gone so quick. Like my 20s, I feel like I've been in my 20s for a long time and I still have a good amount of it to go. Like I'm yeah. only, what, October 5th, gonna be 26 and a half. That's my half birthday. <gasps> I should throw myself a half birthday party. Oh my God, I'm gonna do that. Time has been going that fast in my 20s. And I'm like happy about that. I'm enjoying it. But also at the same time, death is imminent. <laughs> sound the drums of war unable to admit you were there to fill my home this is for only fans now we're transitioning from YouTube to only fans <laughs> <laughs> Red tail. Have you talked to a doctor about it? No. Nope. I hate doctors. They just tell me live with it or take medication for the rest of your life. <laughs> I don't want to do either of those things. Hello and welcome to our official campsite tour. Let's jump right into it. They say it's all about location. Well, not to brag, but we are situated in a prime spot between lots of cars and hundreds of thousands of other smelly, loud, drunk people. Our tent is a first edition. My father gave me a fucking broken tent and then blamed me for breaking it. And if you aren't careful, sometimes it slices your wrists open. Whether we're getting ready or eating cold soup out of a can using the same plastic spoon for four days straight, we use this vintage plastic tub. This was sourced directly from the back of my father's garage because hey, if it says camping on it, it's probably useful. Our furniture is all classic Brajoya pieces from their Redneck Walmart summer collection. These pair nicely with our beautiful tapestry and throw rug, handmade by small children in China. As we enter into the foyer, we get a first glimpse of what luxury sleeping experience Firefly has to offer. A modest room, filled with the sounds of people sleeping directly next to us on all sides because all that's separating you is a thin piece of plastic. I'm a big fan of decorative lighting, so this retro style chandelier and old glow sticks that don't work anymore really pull this place together in my opinion. Charlie's Angels. Wow. I never thought I could be that hot. Well, next to me, you're not that this hot. Is, this is sweet. That was quite cool. Thanks. I've never seen like, an you influencer life up close. I'm not really an influencer. But you do I'm have a I'm just nice a camera. fake one. What's your Instagram? 
Uh, Kelsey Omis. I'll follow you right This now. is for YouTube, though. Oh. I'm, like, also a fake YouTuber. What do you do on YouTube? Mm. Whatever the fuck I want. Sam, the first night at bed, Ron met out with two girls and put his head between a cocktail waitress's breasts. When you left crying at clutch, Ron was holding hands with a female and took down her number. Multiple people in the house know, therefore you should know the truth. Say bye to the camera if you want. This is our last day. We're, we've decided that we are not gonna stay for, well, we might stay for Megan, but we're not gonna stay for Lizzo because we're gonna be fucked later if we try and drive either at night or tomorrow morning. Thank you so much to Alt92.3 for um, <clears throat> not actually sponsoring this video, but for fucking giving us free <laughs> tickets that we want on the radio. Y'all are the best, <laughs> appreciate it. Tommy, any words? No, that was good. No, that was it? Okay. <laughs> Just like the Olympics, we close it out with a ceremony. Cheers. This video is sponsored by the North Face Burrito. Get your burrito. <laughs> Available at REI and everywhere straight jackets are sold. And this is, they put the hand here. <laughs> and this is my toner and my lip gloss. Thank you to Elena Tabor, who I met at the Killers concert. I love you, you were so nice, you're so tall and pretty. And I had a small fangirl moment. I promise you I'm not crazy. She better watch this video. She's not going to. <laughs> she doesn't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> These mushrooms Did you eat these mushrooms? <laughs> hey! Hey! Close that, strong, close that. Sing? Yeah, no. Make it up. But we need a chorus. No, you got it. Make something. Yeah.